want you, Paul, but sometimes my fingers get tired of doing all that playing. Well, you know, have you ever tried to use a pick? Well, that sounds like a novel idea. Okay, let me tell you something. What if I didn't know what kind of pick to use? True. That's true. That's why I grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six picks from upstairs. So, welcome, everybody. Yep. Uh, So, you know what? I got to tell you. Okay. People, they use one pick, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, you get you get stuck on it, but sometimes you got to change it up a little get bit. Get stuck on it, he says. Well, <laughs> you get stuck on it. Listen, guitar players, you know, they're very finicky sometimes about what they like. No, right? yeah. really. So sometimes you got to hand them. You got no. Actually, sometimes you have to give them a pick for free to just even make them think about another option, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So you know, I, I get it, but I got to tell you, I was watching this guy the other day, and I'm like. Why does that guitar sound horrible? Why that guitar sounds good normally? Mm-hmm. And I asked him like, "What pick are you using?" And he was using a, I don't even know what it was, but it doesn't that's it doesn't matter. But I'm like, "That's amazing." Would, and I said, "Would you try this one?" And it was like, the guitar sounded way better. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know it could be different on each guitar. Every guitar is different. But I just wanted to real quick go through a couple of our favorite picks that we use here at the store. Okay. Because everyone has a different favorite, but these are these are like a few that are so really common, you know. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to listen to the differences. Now you use a cool pick, right? All uh, the time? No, no, no. I, I grabbed just... one today because I forgot. I use a Wigan, 1.2 millimeter. Okay. This is someone being very specific about the there pick. I I played lots of different picks and I settled on for for acoustic, the Wigan 1.2 millimeter okay. bluegrass pick. Gotcha. And they're in they're in the upper mid. They're like upper middle class picks compared yeah. to like right. thirty dollar. I think they call them blue chip yeah, or something. Yeah, blue chips. Yeah, there's a bunch of those custom picks out really there. Really customs, and but they're a little bit more than the dollar. Kind yeah. of find them everywhere. Plastic picks. And all these right here the, is the. Uh, I'm sure you'll get some close ups, but this is the Tortex. Music, Tortex. Yeah. Music. That one happens to have our little stamp on it. Happens to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's but you know that's a common pick too. That's a great pick. A lot so of I'm just gonna I'm it. gonna do some strumming. Yeah. Then. It's not particularly thick. I would put this one at probably what, like a somewhere between 0.7 and 0.8. Yeah, it's like 0.8 or something. We're not gonna get too. Uh, we can't talk about picks without talking yeah, about thickness, you know. Totally. I try to keep them all the same. I'm trying to keep them all in the same, you know, category. Gravity. Okay. Now that's thicker, but just you know, I'm going for tone here. I'm just trying to. say gravity I gotta try and I, I figure out okay, you know I got you so I'm with you much much thicker right it is but I can see through it and like I said I'm going more for tone and I know thickness is gonna change the tone but I think thickness also I don't know there's so much uh, myth in there yeah about what I mean you got this style but I so I can't tell you the jangle guitar we'll jangle used they say he used like a three yeah. millimeter yeah. Thick pick, which is right. It's a monster. Three this times is probably bigger than that one. It's probably like a one point. This is bigger than one. So what I'll do is at the end I'm gonna have you strum the same thing at the end. At the end. Just so you just hear the difference, okay? Prime tone. Try okay. the prime tone. What's what's? Everything's tr- in like that kind of stuff. Everyone's trying to you know basically recreate a tortoise shell. Mm-hmm. I know that's that. That's a take on tortoise shell, maybe? Well, turtle, right? That's what the yeah, tortuga there means. You go. And I only know that from watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Because they kept going to the Isle Tortuga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I used to play these fenders. Those are... The, well, here's a, here's a classic fender. The normal you know, celluloid. Okay. Okay. Maybe it wasn't the, that No, because this one's okay. fairly new. These okay. are the, the tortuga. Okay, yeah. That's your classic Fender celluloid. Mm-hmm. I mean, even if, if you have your eyes closed, would we even hear anything? Are you hearing? No, I'm but not see, even sure I'm even pick, hearing any difference here. The pick, uh, so 
But these are all good picks. There's all so similar. many variables, right? And so when you're talking about like the difference that a pick makes in the tone, well, yeah, thickness can make a, a difference. But I think it's it, there's a lot of interplay. Like the the thickness of the pick is gonna affect the way I hold it. And it's gonna affect yeah. my confidence or the striking style, the angles of attack, all of these subtleties yeah. that will affect the ultimate sound of the guitar. And part of it may be the, the actual mechanics and physics of the pick itself, but part of it's probably the way my hand wants to apply right. that pick. As you know, am I digging harder, am right. I stroking lighter? Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine all these are gonna sound pretty pretty similar the way you do. Then if I hand you a, a thin, like mm -hmm. plasticky, mm -hmm. you know, pick, it's gonna be completely awkward compared yeah. to this. Well, I mean, so this, w the reason I pointed out the Django thing was, you know, so that's one, I think a lot of Django Gypsy players, if you go online uh, to like the string specialist or pick special yeah. store kind of places, you'll see that they have Gypsy Jazz picks that are thicker yeah. by design, like two mils and up. Because yeah. apparently, you know, something about the combination of the guitar yeah. and the thickness of the pick well, maybe the helps the picked. style. Yeah. Uh, but then you can go to a different style that is very distinctive and the one I'm thinking of is like a like an Irish style and uh, where they do I can't do it very well but it's yeah. like yeah. and to get that sound I've always heard now this you know some Irish players might correct me on this but that a thin pick lets you get through those types of rapid embellished yeah. uh, like quad notes one two three four did it did it one two three four did it i guess so i think a thin one huh? functionality yeah. i think the fu yeah for the sometimes i see people are really just strumming really hard sometimes they want a little bit thinner too just because they're otherwise because otherwise the pick will, falls out easier well that's that why too. i put grip tape on mine that's yeah. why i like the coals because i'm you know but the uh, uh one now. yeah one last thing i would i i think about pitch is that sometimes uh depending on thickness i you know i'm not sure how much volume you can affect by the pick that you use other than I mean if it's thicker maybe you get more yeah. volume maybe you get more tone than you would on a thinner one uh, I seem to recollect that I broke more strings with thinner picks than I did with thicker picks probably because you were hitting the guitar harder because you were trying and to get the volume I that's that was the kind of assumption I made but you know anytime maybe I just had cheaper strings anytime you think like you think of what someone's doing or this or that. It's, you never know. People do stuff and they do it and it's their own style and it yeah. sounds like them. It's all good. That one's a uh, Pick Boy, Pick Boy Classic, I believe. Mm -hmm. So these are all similar. They're all real similar. So uh, I think this is a one mil, which is like right in the space. I like them just a little bit thicker, but this is to me this is a sweet spot for you know volume tone yeah. thickness. I can pinch it, you but like it's got it a little bit mil. of pliability. the end we'll see if we can hear a difference and let you strum each one okay sure. but those are just like five six picks that are very popular here at music villa you know we're not really trying to uh you know get really too in the too deep into the pick conversation because well, we could that, go you know, on helps, for hours you know, and the hours. sound is to play a, a really sweet cheryl crow model gibson True. you know that just sounds good all by exactly. itself exactly well, let's, uh, yeah, we'll do a little, let's go on, and we'll then maybe we'll thing. actually do a real crazy comparison about picks again later. I know you're dying to. Aren't you? What would be neat would be to hear, well, it'd be to hear an honest player play different picks and see if I could pick out the thickness or the make brand of it. You know, like, because yeah. I have presumptions. I have assumptions okay. about what different picks and thicknesses. We could thicknesses blindfold and you and do some picks, too. It always gets a little scary when you talk about blindfold. Right? Yeah. It's a little, I'm we a should little... do it. I think we should do it. All right. Quinn. Yeah. Thanks. We'll talk more picks later. More picks. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone.